Hi, I'm Blaine Kelly. Thanks for checking out the UC Claremont College Information Session. We'd love to be a part of your life success story at UC, so we hope you'll ultimately choose to attend here, UC Blue Ash, or at our main campus. The University of Cincinnati has been around now for 201 years, but the last few have been our best, completing the proudly Cincinnati campaign raising over $1 billion to become the 25th school in the history of the planet to do it. We've also been a top school on Princeton Review for over a decade straight, and Policy Mike says the university has the best return on investment of any school, public or private, in the entire United States. So the University of Cincinnati is like a grand umbrella, and underneath that umbrella are multiple colleges. So depending on what you're going to study, that will inform which college you'll ultimately be at. At our main campus, we have 10 colleges that are undergraduate, up to a bachelor's degree, and then grad school to continue your studies at the graduate level. Now, UC Claremont and Blue Ash are not community colleges, but regional colleges of the University of Cincinnati. We just happen to not be located at the main campus. So you can complete your studies here if it's closer to home or if we have the academic program that you're choosing. At UC Claremont, you're a UC student. You get the same Bearcat ID that any student at our main campus would have. It gives you a free bank account at PNC for the next six years. It gives you 150 free copies in our library. It gives you access to all kinds of great things as well. You can put money on the card that you can use at our food services, bookstore, or you can use in our vending machines. Plus, it's good at over 200 stores and restaurants at main campus and you can get Bearcat tickets with it. So if you're interested in going to games to see UC Bearcat athletic teams play, like football or basketball, you'd be able to get those. You can also get into some concerts at the College Conservatory of Music and much more. Once you finish your studies at UC Claremont College, you'd actually get a degree, an associate's degree, or we offer one bachelor's degree. And your diploma doesn't say UC Claremont, it says University of Cincinnati, because that's who we are. So here you're a UC student in every way, you only have five restrictions, and those are in the NCAA Division I sports of football, baseball, basketball, soccer, or volleyball. You'd have to be at our main campus to play those five sports, but our students can be cheerleaders, be in the band, go Greek, run track, or do many other things at our main campus if you're interested in doing that while attending classes here at UC Claremont College. So the academic year is set up in a three semester system. The fall term begins in late August and will go until the second week of December. You get a month off, we come back mid-January, and that spring term usually ends the last few days of April. If you want to attend in the summer or not, you can. Many students don't, but we care about you. We don't care how you attend, so full-time or part-time, that will be up to you. A full-time student who lives in Ohio would actually pay a tuition rate of $5,634 at UC Claremont, $6,010 at UC Blue Ash, and $11,660 at our uptown campus. So obviously UC Claremont is the fiscally responsible deal within the UC system. Now if you live out of state, you'll want to check our website because there's special reciprocity and metro rates available to students in certain places of Kentucky and Indiana. Uh, and online students, no matter where you live, you have a really nice option that's not out of state rates as well. Now our aviation program, a pilot's program at Sporty's Pilot Shop is the top 10 flight school in the whole United States. It does have additional fees for avgas and flight time, but otherwise these are your rates in the current year. It's possible they may go up a little by next year. It's too early in the year to know that, but maybe 0.5 or 1 or 1.5 percent. But once you start in the fall of 2020 at UC, you'll lock into those pricings for the next four to five years, depending on your academic program. So if you're here at Claremont for two years, you would have Claremont pricing for both years, the fall of 2020, spring of 2021, fall of 2021, spring of 2022, and then when you go to main campus to finish your bachelor's, if you choose that option, in the fall of 2022, you'd actually still be locked into the fall of 2020 pricing at our main campus. So that's the new guarantee that UC offers to all of our students, and it's a great way that you don't have to worry in the future, like, will it change? And that pricing won't change for you as long as you get your degree done in four to five years, depending on what you choose to study. So UC is the Bearcats, and you're a Bearcat when you're here at UC Claremont. But 28 years ago, we decided here at Claremont College that we wanted to have our own athletics. 
We're not big enough to play any NCAA, so we don't use the Bearcat name, but the teams out of this college are called the UC Claremont Cougars, and nationally, we play in the United States Collegiate Athletic Association. We've had great success, and our teams have attained five national championships since 2007. So if you're interested in playing athletics, just let me know. We'll get you in contact with the athletic director, who will in turn get you in touch with the coach, and we'll begin the process from there. Now that's a lot of fun stuff, and we certainly hope that you'll participate in that. But the best thing on campus is our faculty, and we have over 80 full-time professors here at UC Claremont College teaching the majority of your classes. Most of them have a terminal degree or the highest level possible in their area of expertise. And one of the things I'm most proud of, besides having small class size, is the fact that our grad survey has shown we've had a 95% high satisfaction rate. And the consistent bullet points are my professors know me by name, my professors are approachable and they'll help me if I want to discuss a topic or want to know more about a topic or maybe you're having trouble understanding a topic and you're going to feel well prepared for the next step. So whether that's going to work or continuing at UC main campus to finish off your bachelor's degree, we know that the faculty here and their expertise are here to serve you and help you attain the highest level of mastery in your area of study. So at our website, ucclaremont.edu, if you just go into the top band in white, hover over academics. The drop down will give you the option to click on majors and programs and that's where you can review all of the different options that we offer here. About half of our programs are associate degrees that are technical. Now they can be completed in a bachelor's degree here or continue straight to work. The other half are called transitional because you would leave here and transition. It's not a transfer, you just stay under the umbrella of UC from this college to your main campus UC college to finish your bachelor's degree. And all of those options plus certificates are shown at that link. So you can start here at UC Claremont, finish your degree and go to work, start here in a technical area and complete a bachelor's degree right here that's technical. You can use this as a stepping stone after one or two years to go to our uptown campus and complete your bachelor's degree there or everything at UC, UC Claremont and Blue Ash, is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, and that means our stuff would transfer to any school in the nation. So it's safe to start here and use this as a stepping stone, but we certainly hope you'll stay at UC. So what's the application process? You'd simply go to our website. Below that main picture, there's a button that says Apply, and you would simply go on there, tell them whether you're a freshman or a transfer, or you're going to study distance learning online, and you'll actually be able to complete your application there. Now there's typically a $50 fee with that, but hang on, I'll talk about that in just a few moments. We're then going to need you to send official transcripts from any high school and college that you've attended. When I have your application and I have your transcripts, then you're going to receive your acceptance letter. We mail those out via email first, but every Friday at about 5 p.m. So the sooner you get those items to us, the sooner you'll see your acceptance. So if you've already completed a Common App and you'd simply like to add UC Claremont, open your Common App, then click up at the top in green where it says add to my colleges and you'll actually be able to add UC Claremont and apply right on the Common App. If you haven't completed the Common App, I would suggest that you don't do that at this point. It'll take more time and it would be easier just for time's sake to complete the application on our website. So right below the main picture at ucclaremont.edu, there's three red buttons. The one on the left says apply. You'd click on that. In the left column, you'd either choose freshman, transfer, distance learning, or whatever you are. And the next thing you would be able to do is click on the button that says apply via the UC web portal. If you happen to be a senior right now in high school and you've got an unweighted GPA of a 3.0 to a 3.49 and an ACT composite of 20 or higher, you would automatically qualify for a $1,500 merit scholarship. And if you have a 3.5 to a 4.0 GPA and your ACT is a 22 or higher, you would automatically get $2,500 in merit scholarship. You'd need to send us your transcripts. You would need to send the direct test scores from ACT to the University of Cincinnati. We also take SAT scores as well. So get those sent to UC. And once we offer you admission, you must confirm your admission by May 1st of this year in order to get these merit scholarships, but we would love to give you that money. If you happen to be out of college for more than a year and you do not hold a degree, but you've got a collection of college classes, you would qualify for our Claremont Completion Academy and we'd scholarship one of your first two classes. So if that's the case for you, you'd want to get in touch with me and let me know 
because that way we'd make sure you'd get this scholarship. So deadlines for the upcoming year. You would need to apply and get us your transcripts by July 1st if you want to start in the fall, which is August 24. And if you want to come next spring, which starts in January, you would need to apply and get us your transcripts by November 15th. So if you're ready to apply, go to the UC Claremont website. Step one, submit your application. Once you sign it and submit it, the next page will ask you to pay a $50 fee. And remember I mentioned before we talk about that fee. Well, when you get to that page, don't pay the fee. Just log out because you viewed this video. And then send us an email at the address on the board, claremont.admissions at uc.edu, or you can give us a call at 513-732-5301. I need your name, I need your date of birth, because I have to make sure it's the right person, and we'll then waive that fee. So apply, get us your transcripts, and then you're gonna be in here at UC Claremont. Thanks so much for taking time to view this information session. I hope it provided some things that helps answer questions for you. If you have more questions, again, let us know. We're happy to help. You can call me directly at 513-732-5301, or again, write us at the email that I mentioned just a few moments ago. We'd love to be a part of your life success story at UC, so thanks again for viewing, and we hope to have you on campus sometime in the near future.